internet. I'm Eugene Cap, and this is Cap and Design TV, a YouTube channel for vlogs and tutorials and how tos. And today we have a wonderful After Effects tutorial for you guys. Now, one of the many brands I help represent and manage and do work for is Home Deals TV. In fact, they're they're on the wall behind me. So, what we're going to do is talk about. What do you do when this happens? There's a person. So the other day we were out at a house and we were filming an intro and an outro to this house tour. And when I got back to the, to the office, I realized there is somebody walking behind Julian, my buddy Julian, right here. And we can't have that in the video. It's, it's just not a, it's just not a good fit. So what we're going to have to do is digitally remove them. Now, you're probably like, what? How are we going to make this person disappear? And believe it or not, it's not as hard as you think. So the first thing is, now that I have this clip, I'm going to hit curl D to duplicate it. I'm going to find where this person comes in and I'm going to pull the ends to where they enter and where they leave. Just like that. Now, I'm not actually going to be doing anything with this clip. It's basically here just so I know where this all goes down. But what I am going to do is I'm going to hit curl D again on the big one find put it at top and find a one second clip or two second clip where this person is invisible and then I'm going to stick it right over now if we just leave it here the audio isn't going to sync, sync up with the video but what we are going to do is we are going to take this top layer. We are going to make it invisible. Turn it off. Grab the mask tool. Get in really close. And I'm going to cut around Julian's arm. First, you have this jump cut in the background. You got this little, this little artifact over here from the first video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top video and I'm going to add a couple of frames. And what I'm going to do with these frames is I'm going to make it fade in. But, and I'm going to do the same to the other side. Add a keyframe, grab a couple of frames and let's do it. Now it doesn't look so harsh as a jump cut in the background for these leaves and whatnot. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the mask tool. We're going to grab the opening. We're going to add a mask path and we're going to get really close in here. And I'm going to turn down the opacity so I can see the layer underneath it. Now, as soon as this woman gets out of the way, what I'm going to do is start to follow her. And then going down the timeline, I'm going to follow her until Visible. 
Now, if we go back through and turn up the opacity all the way, it's actually very smooth. Oh, let's add this path just a little bit and just fix that right there. Now, same thing to notice right away is you do have, you can tell where the mask is actually moving because you see this change. Now, what we can do is we can control the mask feather. Now, I like to start with a mask feather of two pixels. But as you go further down the line and everything starts to get more noticeable, what you're going to want to do is increase that feathering, but not enough for it to show the person walking underneath. And you can just adjust throughout making this person disappear. Now, when we play back through, she is gone. Julian's arm is fine. And you can't see this person anymore. Really simple removal. Anyway, that concludes our video for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And if you did, be sure to give it a like. Comment down below if there's something you want to learn. And just as a heads up, um, if you like these videos and you want to learn more, be sure to subscribe. I will be making another video just like this one on how to remove objects from your static shot using the clone tool. Anyway, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Have a great day. I need to get better lighting. What what is this? I'm doing this like half lighting thing.